Hey Aries, let's see what's coming up for you in the next few days. Wow, that one popped the fuck out. What's coming up for Aries next few days? And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Fool card. Wow, with the wool, with the world. Okay, Aries. So, some new things are happening for you, huh? We've got the Fool, the Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> you could be working on a new project with this Eight of Pentacles. Um, I tend to see. I tend to see the Knight of Wands as travel. Like maybe you are thinking of traveling. Or whatever it is that you're working on, whatever project it is you're working on, you're getting really excited about it. For those of you who are single, I feel like you're in a little bit of uh, fuck boy, fuck girl mode. <laughs> you might be newly single with the full card. You're like, I just want to manifest some honeys. Let's clarify that full card. <clears throat> clarify the full card. Clarify the full card. Because there is a strong energy of manifestation with the full card. He's not, <clears throat> excuse me. He's not manifesting a specific person, but he he has all the tools to manifest and he's in front of Aphrodite, the goddess of love. So I do think you may be manifesting love. Let's see. Clarify the fool. Doesn't have to be. It could be self-love. Ooh. Clarify the fool. Six of cups. Clarify the fool. Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups, Aries. Um, so for those of you who resonate with this, I think there is a specific person you have in mind. Although I did say, you know, you might be very passionate about it. Could it be one person that you're passionate about? Could it be somebody you see as your destiny, as your fate, or you're fated to, to meet this person, or maybe you're about to meet them and this is how you feel you're manifesting love or you come across this could it be cancer scorpio pisces um there's also fire air um i see although the full card indicates manifesting love it shows you taking action so maybe what you're manifesting is either the ability to reach your love or the courage and bravery to do so because the Knight of Wands is definitely brave, courageous. And the Knight of Swords is decisive, taking action. And with the Six of Cups, it's like feeling this really strong soul bond. However, <clears throat> with the Four of Pentacles, you may not have expressed this yet. But you're not letting this person go with the Four of Pentacles. Um, action needs to be taken. Let's clarify that Knight of Wands. Clarify Knight of Wands for Aries. Woo, child. Talk about this person makes you feel passionate. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to not move the camera. Clarify Knight of Wands. <laughs> you know what? We'll take them. We've got the Hierophant, Star Card, three. Ooh, damn. Damn, 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 Aries. Okay. So. <clears throat> With the hangman, this is something you've kind of been sitting on, even though you know it's your it's your happily ever after. Wow. This is your lover. <laughs> your lover, not a choice. It's the lover. Um, but with the with the Knight of Wands here, part of the reason that you feel like you're rushing in, there might have been some sort of break between you and this person it was it might have been a fight things got heated um there was just a big break possibly in communication you might not be talking to this person right now but with the hierophant you feel committed to this person in fact you feel like this is everything you've ever wanted in a connection but you're struggling with the heartbreak now this could also be how they see you um so with the full card coming out twice, you're really excited about it, though. Like maybe this was something you didn't plan to come across. And so when you do, you're like, whoa, look what I just got. But you're also like, OK, but I broke it. So that could be where the eight of pentacles is coming in, feeling like you need to put in a lot of work to to repair this connection. Let's see. Clarify eight of pentacles. Clarify eight of pentacles. Got the wheel of fortune again. 
four of wands. Wow. Five of swords and king of pentacles. Oh, with the ten of wands. Okay. All right, Aries. So basically... The reason you haven't really taken any steps um, with the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and then the Hangman came out, it's because you're you're aware that this connection is going to take a lot of work. I've got the Wheel of Fortune here, so you do feel it's there's fate. Fate is involved somehow, um, and you feel like this is this is not only something that gives you a lot of happiness. This is this has the p possibility. Of long term but you're stepping into a very practical energy you could have earth capricorn taurus or virgo in your chart so you're stepping into very practical energy and then you talk yourself out of it because you're like okay but it's gonna take a lot of work um you might not have the time you might not be able to do this you might not be able to do that um like you mentally defeat yourself before you ever lift a finger and therefore, you just carry this around with you. Oof. Wow. I don't know how much longer you'll be able to take that because the death card is beneath it with this with the Knight of Wands, which is a, a desire to take action. But for now, you're not really taking any action. The desire is there. So it's like you're bat you're embattled with yourself. So let's let's get final message for Aries from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Final advice for Aries. <laughs> opening to discovery you know what's interesting about this message is that this is about like literally it shows the key and the keyhole right there you have the ability to open up your world to many different things it's just about wanting to right you have the key you have the ability to do so um <clears throat> but excuse me but sometimes we allow other people or or society to tell us what we can or can't do um, because this is about sometimes we're listening to the news or we're listening to certain things and we're allowing that to color our vision which is where I think this comes in there's something about this relation relationship that could be unconventional there's something about this connection that isn't traditional in some ways or it goes against tradition and so you're you're just like no 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 you're feeding your mind the negative of this connection so it's up to you aries you decide how it's gonna go and that's what i got for you talk to you guys later